are doing something very different. We're doing pleached hornbeam. And as you can see, Ross is using, again, a battery operated long reach. And the thing about it is that you can work to quite a height with a long reach. Many of them, they all vary in height. Uh, this one's a Husqvarna. We sometimes use steel. There are many makes around. And you can see that yeah, he can reach just about the top with that, which works really well indeed. Um, this is the time of the year that you would be doing this because that way the, uh, the horn beam that we're cutting here will hold its leaf very well. Um, makes a lot of mess and a lot of clearing up as you can see. And I'm just going to show you that, uh, you know, pleaching trees is, a, is hard work. Remember that a horn beam, if you see it in the forest, let's face it, it's quite a large tree. So think about that when you put it in your garden. Now, you say to yourself, how do we do the tops? Well, I'll show you how we do the tops. We use a three-legged pair of steps. And it's as simple as that, three-legged pair of steps. And you'll notice also that Ross was wearing safety glasses so that as pieces drop on him, they don't get into his eye. Um, and the most important thing is that you just look along the line of it and it's worth sometimes having someone with you to just give you an idea of the heights that you're going and trying to keep it all level at the top. And you'll notice that we've cut off the bottoms as well uh, at a suitable level as well. So there, are. that's what we're doing uh, at this time of the year. We're trying to tidy up pleached trees. It's a one a year job you don't want to do it too often if you cut it earlier in the year you're just going to do it again anyway so just do it late august and it'll work for you right through the winter uh holding most of its leaf but do remember and this is my reminder i'm going to remind you again a hornbeam is a big tree so it'll grow and it needs regular pruning <laughs>